largest role technology can play is to enhance the instructional abilities of teachers. And it really has been a great tool to make sure that every student is actively engaged in the lesson. And that gets the students interested, makes them learn more, remember more. I think technology could help enhance uh, effective teaching and learning and instructional practices. As a social studies teacher, I want kids to be able to use technology in a, uh, a real-world application. For me, it's important because instead of just learning with reading and stuff, you actually get uh, kind of hands-on, like problem-solving type things. For students like myself that want to take a lot of classes and sometimes they can't do it because they don't have enough real teachers in a small school like this. But especially in the upcoming students that we have a way for them to stay up with the 21st century and what's coming next. And I think that's one of the amazing things with technology is it can come and we can use it to assess students, see where their strengths are, see where their weaknesses are. It can really minimize the amount of time they have to spend grading and can then use that extra time to focus on making instructional decisions. Technology allows that, whether it be a, a digital projector, whether it be a movie, whether it be a one-to-one -one concept, clickers. The earlier we can get that technology into the hands of the students and help them feel comfortable with that, you know, the more productive, the more competitive they'll be in a world market. I think we're just now scratching the surface of what it can do. I've interacted more with other faculty members in the last three months than I have in ten years. But now the whole district can take part in that and you know they can have authentic conversations but they're not limited by time. It used to be the old way where teachers would have a file cabinet and you know new teachers would have to beg to take a look at those files. Well now all these teachers are sharing this information. There's a lot of people working really hard to meet the challenges of the future. Preparing Idaho for the 21st century and beyond, that's going to require us to change and I think this is the first step in that direction. We as human beings I think struggle with change a little bit. It's scary, the unknown. My advice would be to give it a try, to kind of warm yourself up to it. When we try to implement new technology, we'll see who's interested in it first. If another teacher comes up and says, I'm leery about it, hey, let's set up a time and we'll go visit this other teacher and, and watch and observe them teach. And, and that's what I think is great about technology. It can be adaptable to any person. With math, there's you know, a way to integrate technology, but it doesn't look like it does in the social studies class, which doesn't look like it does in the science class, or in my A-plus certification class. But then once you start getting in it and using it, you'll figure out how it works for you, and then you can make it successful. When you get teachers talking about the things that they can now do because of the use of technology, they get excited. I think the technology also allows teachers to get immediate feedback on where students are and to adapt. And where we used to take days to get back to you and say, you didn't understand this subject. So the teachers can immediately see that and go back while this topic is still fresh, rather than having to go through and grade it and then say, well, this didn't look so good, we have to come back to it. Technology not only gives our teachers better information about how their students are doing it, provides it to our parents as well. They can always keep track of their kids' progress. We have their attendance, their graduation requirements, their grades, their discipline. And so parents really, they expect immediate feedback and it's, it's helped us to have that partnership in real time. Plus it gives us at the district level, you know, the thousand foot view of our schools and how they're doing and is our curriculum working for the students or are there adjustments we need to make there. Now we have teachers in our school that are actually pulling up the textbook on the screen and then like circling stuff, highlighting it as they go along through it with you. It's a lot easier to have a better visual with technology, which is nice because it helps your attention rate. I'm a very visual learner, so that's super nice. Some people are visual learners, but then there's other people that, oh, if I interact with it, they'll understand it better. We're able to use technology to enhance what we've always done, but we're able to make it more exciting for the kids and at a deeper level, I think. If you play with technology and are willing to learn with it, it does nothing but help and support what you've already been doing for years in your classroom. Now, when we teach, everything's right there at our fingertips and we can move so quick and we have to add more things because our kids are moving along faster. Having the IEN in, having that super highway coming in is phenomenal. Now students can start to focus on what they are interested in as opposed to what we are capable of offering. The more variety we can offer in other ways that we can share resources amongst ourselves as a school and Idaho as a state, 
uh, just makes good sense. In Idaho, I mean, that's going to benefit our students who are really rural, that they could actually work collaboratively. Whatever we are lacking in, whether it be a foreign language, whether it be an elective, whether it be college level math, it can bring that and allow these students here that same opportunity that you would get in, in a big populated area. It gives us a huge amount of options that we wouldn't necessarily get at a small school. The opportunity for the kid who lives in St. Mary's, Idaho to take a French class or a Chinese class or a AP this. I was skeptical at first, but after I got in there, it was um, I interacted well. We could ask questions and we could see the other kids he was actually teaching and the questions they were asking. So it was quite interactive. But even here in, in one of our larger districts, say at Hillcrest, where we have a teacher that's certified to teach Italian, and we have kids at Bonneville that want to take that class, and it's definitely a challenge for us to bus kids back and forth, and so even in our own district, it's a way that we can deliver those classes that we haven't ever had before. Well, I would not be able to take this class, the networking class, without having taken some of the online classes that I did. If they could get some dual credits under their belt before they graduate, then they realize they have the capacity, they have the skill set, to do well in college, then they're hopefully going to be more likely to go on. To me, that's one of the most important skills to have in the emerging workplace, to be able to work with someone in an office across the country or around the globe, that ability to collaborate. It's going to offer wonderful opportunities for kids to get what they need that they couldn't get, and, and hopefully excite them about learning, excite them about something that grabs them and then says, oh, I'd like to explore this further, whether it be a college degree or a professional technical something. When we're sitting in the classroom for a new day to start to learn new stuff and you see a big semi roll into the shop, we actually get to go in, learn how to reprogram a computer. We look at wire diagrams, pretty much diagnose the whole truck. What we're doing with technology is great. Without it, we would lose a lot of students. I mean, that's the important piece teachers need to realize. They are needed to facilitate the learning. That is never going to go away. The teacher that has the gift to teach is still going to need to facilitate the learning. I can't help but think that I'm an important part of this process. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be a teacher if I thought that I was just a babysitter. I believe that technology helps us to do our jobs not just faster, but smarter. And to me, that's important. Now that I have this, I don't know how I could go back and, and not have this as a tool anymore. I just think, just from the fact that I can assess instantly what the kids know is, is something that would be detrimental to, to my teaching if I did not have that tool available. Teaching is different now than it was years ago. And technology provides you with tremendous opportunities to do things differently. And our world is different. You know, we have a choice to make, and we can either um, complain about the inadequacies of the present, or we can face them, and I think that's what we're trying to do. The world's changing. Technology is the way to go. If students aren't trained in technology, then they're not going to make it in the outside world. We're not prepared. We're preparing them better for math and science and reading, but we're certainly not doing as well as we could with technology. And Idaho can't afford that to be left behind technologically or any other way. If you are constantly using technology, then you are prepared for the changes going to come on. Who knows what it's going to be when they're in 12th grade, these kindergartners. But they'll be prepared for it. They won't be scared of it. They'll embrace that change. Technology is one of those things that's going to help us be competitive. It's going to help in the learning process and help us uh, be successful down the road. And we have to train kids to be resilient, to problem solve, to go out and be self-sufficient learners so that they can change with the society that's changing now.